Hello everyone. This is Geeta Priya from RMD Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be seeing about uh, types of data in GIS. That is spatial data and attribute data. Geographical information system. So GIS is nothing about you are going to work on a geographical data or geospatial data. Geographical data is just whatever the space uh, data that are available in a real world. So those data, geographical data, will be called as a geospatial data. The system which is used for capturing the geographical data, or storing the data, or analyzing the data, or making it as an application. So the system used for doing this will be called as a geographical information system. The best example for representing the application of GIS is GPS. So we are using a Google Maps today. That is a that is one best example of GIS application. So by using GPS, you can visualize your data in any type. That is by using a terrain view or satellite view. So uh, you can analyze the data by using the GPS, and also you can find the direction. You can use the application for various purposes. So this is one best application of a GIS. So coming to the types of GIS. There are two major types in GIS. There is one is spatial data. The other one is attribute data. The spatial data is furthermore divided into two types. One is vector and the raster. The spatial data. Spatial data is nothing but the actual geographical data present in the real world is called as a spatial data. So spatial data is furthermore divided into two types. Uh, as I said, spatial data is nothing but the real world, the actual geographical data present in our world. So that will be divided into two types. The first one is a discrete, that is a vector format. Vector format in sense, it is going to be a distinct element. For example, the three elements of vectors are point, line, and polygon. To represent a point, you can take your house itself. Your house is a point, or uh, for this example, they have taken as well. So, well is a point. If uh, roads are going to be connected, uh, it's going to act as a connection between two or more. Maybe it may be houses, or it may be two or more uh, cities or states. So, roads are the one which is going to connect between one place to the other. So, it will be called as a line here. The basic forms are point, line, and polygon. But point is a house. For example, I told you before. And line, the roads is a basic concept of line. And then polygon. Polygons are we will be calling it as area. So polygon in sense a particular boundary. So for example, if you are taking a Chennai city boundary means Chennai is a polygon here. If you are taking your own house, your house is going to have, of course your house is going to have a boundary, right? So your house is a polygon here. So these are the three uh, elements of a vector, uh, vector data. And coming to the raster data, raster data will be is going to have a continuous feature. Continuous feature in sense, it is going to be first of all, it is going to be represented using a grid format. And whatever it may be, a continuous feature in sense, elevation, elevation will be described in a continuous features only. By using the color variation only in the grid format, the spatial data will be represented. We'll further, we'll discuss about point line polygon here. So as I said, uh, in this graph, you can see that these are the various points available. And line is nothing but connection of two or more points will be called as a line. So in line, line is line is nothing but a collection of points. And polygon in sense, the collection of or uh, the collection of lines will be called as a polygon. And one major constraint is it is going to be a closed surface. If you are connecting two or more lines together and it forms a closed surface in sense it will be called as a polygon or an area for representing the spatial data this is the best example we can uh, represent so here if you are searching for rmd engineering college so in your google map if you are searching for a location for this example i uh, searched rmd engineering college so the exact location of rmd engineering college will be pointed out as a point it won't be showing it as a boundary first of all when you're as if as if you're searching in a google map it will be showing it as a point the uh, one single point will be shown for describing and location so that thing will be called as your pointer so here you can see some yellow lines 
and white lines and all so these are uh, these are nothing but lines so these lines are going to connect from between one street to the other or these roads or these lines can be connecting two or more states together or two or more countries together and coming to the boundary or sorry uh, coming to the polygon or area so this is a particular area i've searched for so it will be represented using an outer boundary you can see a red color boundary there so the red color boundary represents this particular area as a polygon for the best example if you're searching for tamil nadu in a google map the particular area of tamil nadu boundary will be covered uh, will be represented using the red line so if you're taking an india map and you're searching for tamil nadu the outer boundary of tamil nadu will be marked using a red red in color similar to this diagram uh, similar to this map so that represents tamil nadu as a one single polygon so this is about point line and polygon coming to the raster data so raster data is going to be represented using a grid format grid format or in a pixel format <coughs> sorry so if you are uh, zooming a digital image you can see a number of pixels here so uh, collection of pixel forms an image so similarly uh, raster data will be there so this is the actual data in sense it is going to be represented in a grid format so as i said before the elevations will be represented uh, by using a color variation so if all uh, in this example you can see the light green represent the grasses and the darker green an even darker green represents the elevation as the elevation that is the height increases the uh, color changes will be high so this is how raster data will be represented it will be represented either by using a unique id that is 1 2 3 or by using an alphabetical value or else it will be represented using a color variations or color formats coming to the uh, next major types of uh, gis data it is attribute data so speaking about attribute data the best example i'll start from an example so uh, uh, every house will be having an address so here my address is rmd college road kavarepete tamil nadu and the pin code 601206 so here uh, this is the actual attribute data here you are going to have a spatial data it means that particular spatial data is going to have some characteristic value or it is going to have some attribute to to it so rmd engineering college in sense is a spatial data and the spatial data is having a name called rmd engineering college so rmd engineering college is an attribute for that particular spatial data so one particular for that spatial data one uh, attribute is rmd engineering college if a college is there means of course it is going to have an address so this is the address of it so the types of attributes will be character so rmd college road kavarepete tamil nadu is all, everything is an character here and integer of course the pin is an integer here and then floating um, floating points and floating numbers also will be there in when you are specifying a land area or something so that is floating and date date in sense for example if you are searching for rmd engineering college in that you can also uh, uh, get the data like when the college has been uh, 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 been constructed when the college has been reopened so all those data will be coming up and then and the last is b log data b log is nothing but multimedia data multimedia data in sense images videos audio gif everything will be coming under multimedia data if i'm searching for rmd engineering college in uh, google i will not be only getting the address of the rmd engineering college but also i will be getting the data like the image of a college or the image or the map of a uh, college so i will be getting some multimedia content also so that is your b log data so these are the two major data of gis one is spatial data the other one is attribute data thank you